no sensors. Knock sensors monitor the level of nitrogen oxide being emitted by a diesel vehicle to ensure compliance with emissions regulations. Most engines feature two NOx sensors, an upstream and downstream sensor. Common causes of failure include soot buildup on the sensor, ECU water intrusion, and or damage to the cable, which will cause the check engine light to illuminate. To provide quality and coverage for this important and growing diesel category, we are proud to introduce line of diesel nitrogen oxide sensors. About the nitrogen oxide sensors. And as you can see in this diagram of a generic selective catalytic reduction SCR system is used on a light dirty diesel passenger trucks. The assembly uses two nitrogen oxide sensors. The first sensor, referred as the uh, nitrogen oxide sensor 1, is located near the turbo dome pipe and it measures engine out nitrogen oxide. The second sensor, referred to as the nitrogen, nitrogen oxide sensor 2, measures the nitrogen oxide levels exceeding the SCR catalyst. The SCR assembly contains a catalyst brick that requires DEF or diesel exhaust fluid for, uh, for activation, for example. A PCM controlled pump and dozer valve are used to meter DEF diesel exhaust fluid into the exhaust system upstream of the SCR brick. With the exhaust heat, the DEF will decompose into ammonia and carbon dioxide. If the, uh, too much um, diesel exhaust fluid is injected into the exhaust, the SCR brick can come saturated with ammonia and some of it will exit the SCR assembly. This is called ammonia slip. To an nitrogen oxide sensor, ammonia and the nitrogen oxide uh, looks the same. Ammonia slip will cause the downstream uh, nitrogen oxide sensor to report an incorrect amount of nitrogen oxide in the exhaust stream.